when you just think about that team, that talent that we have that we've never had from one to ten, the rest of them dudes, I don't really care about. I really don't. And that, that's what kind of leads me to this whole conversation around Scottie Pippen, right? I just gave you who's the top ten in our rotation next year. Barring, mm-hmm. you know, something crazy happening, Luke, because Luke's <laughs> it's not official yet. The ink ain't dry. I don't know what we're waiting on. We may, I don't know. But it ain't dry yet. But in the event that it is him, bro, that is a stacked team. It's a legit team, bro. And so you're talking about the, the, the back half of that roster. You got Jake Laravia, uh, Jalen Wells, Derrick Rose, John Conchar. That's four. Who's 15? Do we got a 15 player? That's 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 the point for that's 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 where it us for discussion because you see, because you, you see, you got you got Cam Spencer, you can sign, you got Scotty Pippen, you got Trey Jimson. That's three guys right there that you can pause out on two ways or sign for a final roster start. Because you say you name between you said Derek Rose, Jake LaRavia. We just traded Zaire, mm-hmm. Derek or Jake LaRavia. You said Santi, you right, um, John Carter. You're right. It is gonna be a spot still left. That's that's what I that's I'm glad you could this this is this is where my hold on, my pop hold on. okay hold on because you finna hold on I ain't there yet I'm almost go. there go I'm almost keep there going. keep going keep going that ten that top ten bro mm-hmm. you line that up you stack and I keep having these same conversation and people can't have a they can't answer it logically you stack that ten up against any other team in the West who has a better ten talent wise than that. Nah, there does that's team that we can line up with, but not team for not team for team. Nah, not not no. not both. But nah. I think me personally, Dallas took a step back. Me personally, they Could added be. Clay, but his defense is not touching Derrick Jones Jr. And you need defense when you're messing with Kyrie and Luca. Like, I don't understand that move. And then you take him. You, I guess you technically replace DJJ with uh. Najee Marshall, come on, bro. Like, he was a nah, night man bro. on the Pelicans. <laughs> the Pelicans nah, were a worse team than the Mavericks, and you bringing him in to be a, a top eight player, top seven player, get out of here. Uh, OKC, who gauge it to me? I'm sorry. I want to see them first round, second round, third round. They're not touching us. Uh, Minnesota, say what you want. They don't scare me, bro. They don't scare me. Like, Jaron by himself kept taking y'all toe-to-toe. Jaren finna come with the Vengeance next year on y'all glass. What you think finna happen? I, I just want to see Vince Williams just drive anything that was crazy in seven games. Crazy. Because oh <laughs> Vince Williams oh ain't my right God. in the head. Vince no, we Williams, not. I, look, I love Vince Williams to death, but that some ain't computer right up. I just want to see him, him just guard and don't do – you got to shoot the ball, you got to do nothing. Just – we fought, follow that man to the bathroom. Just get on that man's head for seven games or six. Bro, who finna play dude. defense like us? Who is a better defensive team in the West than us? Please give me a, give me a name. Nobody. Like stop, bro. Like this. Like when we think about that, the only thing that we've had struggles with is a true big man and an offensive scheme. If we fix the offensive scheme, we get Zach Eady, and he's everybody is taking a step forward. Even if mm-hmm. Luke Garnard don't take a step forward, if he's himself. He is what he is. He's a role player. Hopefully, we have knocked his pay down, and he's getting paid for just being a role player of what he is. Bro, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I'm nobody worries me in the West if these dudes healthy. Now, granted, I do think they're going to make a move at the deadline, which I've never banked on in my life. I really don't even like them waiting, but in this scenario, I think it makes sense. Because the new CBA is messing up what you can really do in the summer with signing people. You're going to have teams that think they contenders right now. They're gonna be failing and they're gonna be looking the to Pelicans, get off the, the Pelicans. And then we prime pounce. example. We prime pounce. Example. The Pelicans think they finna be. No. Ooh. They because they, they, they got John T. Murray. They think that's finna turn. Oh my god, the Pelicans finna be so bad next year. And I can't Still get can't depend on Zion. Still can't depend on you can't. Or BI. Or, <laughs> or <B>. CJ. <laughs> like everybody get you know, Yeah, bro. Like, I'm just not worried about these dudes. So um, I forgot what I was saying, but at the end of the day, that's transitioned over to this 15 spot. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's smart to sign Scotty Pimpin Jr. to that spot, bro. You tell me okay. why you think you tell you you convince me why you think that that's the best thing to use that 15 spot with. At first, I wasn't on the sign Scotty train. At first, I wasn't because I was like, we could probably use that to get someone else or maybe sign a big or yada yada. Mm-hmm. It's not. Even, it's not even just his. It's not even just his play in summer league because I feel like he's doing what he's supposed to do in summer league. He's twenty. 
I can't remember how old he was like maybe 24, I think. 23. Because he played like he played like one or two years at Vandy. He's somewhere yeah. out there. He's a veteran. Yeah. He's played legit NBA basketball. Mm-hmm. And he has great talent around him. So I've is he playing great? I'm not trying to take it away from him. He's playing great, but he's doing what I feel like he should be doing. Leading the mm-hmm. offense, being the best player on the floor. Right. So it's not even it's not even his play. I feel like I'm not content with the roster, but I'm as you said, I'm so confident in this roster. I feel like the worst case scenario isn't in other words, it's not like you could you can live with putting Scotty on like I'm not just sold on it, but like I'm you can live with it because we just named we just named our team. That 10 alone, I feel like can compete for a championship. Already close. constructed. Damn close. I feel yeah. like we can come it may be harder, but I feel like we can beat anyone in a seven game series. Straight up like that. And the only reason why I say because I love D Rose to death. But am I really confident with him being my number two? Am I confident with Marcus Smart being my second unit? Because Marcus Smart, he has shown that he can play, but he's he's also shown that he can be kind of spotty with the ball in his hands. Like I like I like I like like I like Smart. I like he go right, he finna get he finna uh, he slowing it's like I never want to let you know like, you see, I've been watching uh uh Dragon Ball Z clips have been on my Twitter feed he's charging up he's charging up I am Gohan going to get sale boy. <laughs> go ahead uh, don't get me started because don't go get ahead. me started don't get me started <laughs> I just think it's a good safety option like I think he's a good emergency option I don't think he should I don't think he should be playing twenty minutes a game. I don't think he should be playing 25. I don't think he should be taking shots or means or taking the ball out the hands of a Desmond Bain or John Morant or a Marcus Smart. I just think it's a nice emergency option to have if Derrick Rose is not feeling it one game. If maybe Jog, maybe we have a match where John needs to play off ball a little bit more, or maybe Marcus Smart or Desmond Bain get hot from the wing. It's like, hey, we don't need you for. I just feel like it's a good emergency option to have. It's not because he's just playing out his mind. It's not because I feel like we can't get anyone better. Cause I don't feel like we need anyone else. Cause if heaven, I'm I'm still voting for. I'm still this caveat. I'm still hoping we can get off either Conchal or Aldama or Laravia. At least we can get off one of those guys and turn it into a big. If we can turn and turn those into a big, sign Scotty all day. So this is what I'm speaking in. I'm still thinking there's another move coming for a big, and I feel like one of those three guys will get traded for a bona fide big man. You cheating, bro? A little bit. You a cheat. little bit. A little I agree bit. with you a hundred percent there at that point. Yeah, yeah. This that's what because because I I see I agree with you. That's that's why I speak because I I really don't think we're done this offseason. I feel like we're gonna make one one of those three guys. But even if we don't trade, I feel like it's still a good. It's still say I feel like we're it's a good mercy option to have just in case, just to sneer, just to have him on the bench. And that's just kind of like I'm not I'm not hundred percent sold on sign him, but I'm about 75 percent there. But like, hey. It's not a bad option to have just in case if all these things fall into place. Even if they don't fall into place, just to have, just in case D. Rose not may feeling John Rand may be a little banged up. Like, you know, just to have. Because he can, he's a serviceable NBA guard. I'm not saying he's Ty Jones. I'm not saying that. Because people say, like, oh, we found a new backup. He's Ty Jones. No, he's not Ty Jones. Ty Jones is head and shoulders above Sky Pippen. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But just something good to have, you know. It, it, it's a good problem to have. That's That's my take. So I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say I ain't gonna wish no injuries on nobody. Let's say John John Morant has a stomach virus. Mm-hmm. Back to back, so he got to miss two games. It's lingering, so he may miss that third game that week as well. Who's gonna be our starting point guard in those games that John Morant is out? Probably three six, probably. Probably so. Yeah. So if he does that, well, let me backtrack. When John Moran is out there, how many minutes a game? Who do you think is our point backup point guard at that point? Let me just ask you that. You say if Josh playing or he's not. Josh playing, playing who's our backup one? Or do we have a backup one? I'm saying we don't have a pure back. We don't because this is this is also saying that G G Jackson starts and Mark Smart goes off the bench because I don't we, care either we way. Think G, you, you okay, either you, way. Yeah, he thinks the I'm same. Saying, he thinks the same either way. Yep. Yep. Probably three six. Probably still probably three six. 
any event it is that that you need some spot, and I'm talking about spot business, that where neither one of the neither one of Ja Morant, Desmond Bain, Marcus Smart, or even Vince Williams, because people forget that how great of a playmaker that Vince Williams was. Mm, like he was at Jordan. I I I get, I get what you're saying. Like no, I'm not saying he can't play me, but I'm not saying better than Scotty. That's not, he can play me. He can play me very well. But I don't know if I'm putting the ball in. He was Vince doing Williams it before Scotty Scott. was doing it. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just a little more confident with the ball in Scotty's hand. That's all I'm saying. Vince Williams is a very good playmaker, but I feel like he can you can allocate his talent other places. That's all I'm saying. And see that go okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to stay in track of my thoughts. Okay, for sure. That's a point just, that I, I want to get I, to. Is I knocked you off. I knocked you. No, off no, you bit. no, you good. In those games, more than likely you're going to be rotating those guys as being your playmakers. I don't even want to say point guard. And then you're talking about a five-out, true ball-moving, spacing offense. That ball is probably not even going to be sticking with one person for that long anyway. Scotty has been great in that tie role of dribbling it down the court, setting up the offense, all this stuff. But if we are more more than likely, which I one of the interviews that Coach Eastlow uh, watched, he was like, our playbook is not that deep. We just have certain principles into our offense yeah. that we go to this, and when this is not open, here's a caveat, or here's a caveat to the caveat. It's almost just like uh, what's the rule? It's rules to the offense. It's not really like set plays, yeah, set plays. So if that's the way that our offense is running, it's got to even that important. Furthermore, in those games, because I don't expect D Rose to play a lot when that top ten that I just named is playing. Like, I expect him to get DMPs all around the board if those guys are primarily healthy. I only see D Rose playing if Ja is out or you need him because, you know, either Ja or Smart is out and you just need, again, 10 to 12 minutes at the point guard spot until that other guy can get back on the court. That's the only time I really even see D Rose playing. So if he's the emergency point guard, why do I need an emergency of an emergency? And he has 50 games that he can play on the two-way anyway. It's not that I don't trust Scotty. It's not that I don't think that I don't value him as a player. My thing is, if he's not in the top 10, as he is, mm-hmm. we know that we have a bigger need than a backup point guard. And it's a backup yeah. big. We need that more than anything. Mm-hmm. So that's my whole thing. Like That's why I said you was cheating. Because I agree with you. If we can, if we can turn Jitty and LaRavia and Jitty or whoever, you mix whoever you want to mix and turn them to a legitimate backup big, sign me up for it, bring Scotty ass on. I ain't got no problem. You, I shut up. But Scotty, it's not a dire need on this team to sign him at this point just because the guys that are – we have combo guards, guys that can do multiple different things. And I don't think playing Scotty next to John Moran or playing Scotty next to Marcus Smart makes any sense in the world. And when you're talking about giving him – rushing to give him a 15 contract, 14 contract, whatever that is, I don't see the point of that. I, I, I look at even Cam Spencer being more valuable to you in a playoff series right yeah, now than Scottie Pimpin. Or just being crazy. Give me all the crazy. <laughs> give me all the crazy. Bro, Cam Pick Spencer. Pick up that man 94 feet right now. Pick him up 94 feet right now. Bro, give me Cam Spencer, Vince Williams, Marcus Smart. <laughs> Jan at the paint, Jan Jackson, Jan and Edie. That way they go run. They go. Oh, that's gonna be funny as hell to see. And I love Scotty's defense. I do. Tasmanian Devils out there, but he ain't them. He ain't them. And if my goal right now is to win a championship, but they've all everybody's saying it. Everybody's saying this. Everybody they going the same thing. I'm not rushing to give Scotty now. At the end of this season, you got a decision to make. Either you going yeah, because he can't be on the two way after this year. You got to either give them a spot or you got to move on. That's going to be a hard decision. Uh, I think they can find a way to work something out at that point. Um, but right now, bro, no, I, I, I dire need is back up big. Let me tell you something. One more thing. I'm going to let you respond or however you want to respond. Because mm-hmm. I've heard even what you said. If something is, it was one thing that you said that made me shake the hell out of my head. And I've heard it a couple different times. About smart. People saying that they trust Scotty. I think it was one of the Bucks, the two Bucks show. My bad. Uh, my, I, don't my bad. I, I don't trust him. I don't trust. I've I don't trust Pippen more. I don't trust Pippen more. I just think you can have just just to take some of that pressure off, just in case Smart is being kind of erratic with spreading with the ball. I don't. I trust Smart with the ball. Uh, his hands more than Pippen. We, I'm just saying sometimes Smart can be he can be sporadic with the ball. Sometimes that's all I'm saying. He can be loose with it. Sometimes. Damn. Marcus Smart 
was a point starting point guard of an NBA finals team. How many finals has Scottie Pimpin been to? Like, what do we just be talking? We just be saying crazy shit sometimes, bro. Like, I get it in the moment, it, it, it feels good. We ain't seen Jai in eight months. We ain't seen Scotty for the last six. So this is what we've been watching. But, bro, come on, bro. We trust in Scotty or we want Scotty playing point guard over Marcus Smart. This is some wild shit. Like, stop, bro. Stop. We got the only not reason, you. I'm just saying this conversation like, got to stop. No, I feel you. No, like, and we see most of the saying it's just a few things we disagree on. Number one, I think I – I don't want to disrespect him because Derrick Rose is better. He done his has him. If Derrick Rose don't, don't play a minute this year, I will not care because I'm I just want him on the team. That's that's why I put Scotty above Derrick Rose because that's one thing you said. Derrick Rose be the mercy. I'll put Scotty above Derrick Rose. So that's first thing. What? I would. <laughs> why? Because okay, okay, just because you think yes, he's just... basketball player than D Rose? No. Why would we put him over him then? Ninja, uh, mm-mm. why then? Tell me why. If we if he's not a better basketball player, why are we playing him over D Rose? Because if they're both healthy, I just okay, okay, okay. Let me because I can tell you finna get hot and I ain't trying to. <laughs> it's too late. I'm there. Blood pressure spike. You done did it already. Why? He, he's Answer super saying two. He's super why? saying two already. I'm about to go three. Why are we playing <laughs> over Scotty if they both healthy? Please answer the question. Number one, defensively, I feel like Scotty is better than D Rose defensively. At this age in his career, defensively, Scotty is better. Scotty is a more consistent outside shooter than Derrick Rose, also. So his floor spacing may be a little better. You can't say you saw Derrick Rose shooting the ball from the three point line like Scotty is. Keep talking. I'm going to give you his percentage last year. Keep talking. He played like nine games. Um, that's yeah. He didn't play. play. He played more than nine games. He played more than nine games. Go ahead and cap on his app. He's a better, from what I remember, he's a better outside he's better de- defensively. That's why I only say I'll have Scotty over Derrick Rose if they're both healthy currently. And if he if Derrick Rose shot close to four percent, look at his attempts. I just want to know because his test was not that high. Derrick Rose so shot thirty seven percent from three last year. What are we talking about? And what was his attempts? One point two or something. Almost two a game. So like one point nine. 1.7. Man. He played 24 games last year. That's a small sample size, but hey, he okay, could probably not get down. <laughs> I, I wish I had my monitors up that I could do this like Chris is right now. This man like expects a gadget with all his monitors right now. 3.4. He shot 41%. Respectable as him. So I, I more attempts, better shooter. My my red my that rest my case. Ain't better defensively. Still trust. He's better defensively. God damn. I don't think there was a bad player. I just think at his age, who's a better player right now? Who's a better player right now? Probably D Rose. Probably D Rose. From what I can see, probably D Rose is probably D Rose. But I see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just stuck on Scotty being a buddy Rose. That's one. Okay, the other thing, you got me off. You got me off the track. But the other thing we disagree on is, yes, Marcus Smart will be the backup point, backup backup point guard. But you 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 said a point. Yes, was he a was he a integral part of the NBA Finals team? Yes, but also if you look back at those games, was he also making very costly mistakes in some of those games, and that's why they replaced him with Drew Holiday. Also that is, is not what oh, – see, this is the – oh, no, oh, oh, Super Saiyan 3. No, <laughs> that is not what happened. Why do we have revisionist history? No. Marcus Smart got traded because Malcolm Brogdon failed physicals and couldn't get traded to the Clippers, bro. That is why Marcus Smart at the very wee hours of the night got traded to Memphis and a last-minute pivot so that the Boston Celtics could get KP. And the only reason why Drew Holiday ended up on the Boston Celtics, he got traded – hold on, let's go back. This Marcus Smart trade went down in July or very mm-hmm. no, it may have been late, late June. My bad. It was late June, right before the, the free agency started. Drew Holiday mm-hmm. did not get traded to the Boston Celtics until October, a couple weeks before the season. So people be trying to say, oh, he got traded for Marcus Smart. No, he did not, bro. The only reason they got Drew Holiday that. is because Milwaukee dumbass traded him to trade. Blaze to the block. And then the Blaze was obviously rebuilding, had they was looking for the best suitor. So let's stop with that, bro. Because they did not want to trade, dude. They didn't. 
and they got lucky. Yeah, if if he never, if the Bucks never trade him in that dumbass <laughs> move, the Celtics don't even get a championship. They finna roll out Derek White, and that's it. Like, sorry, bro, you Super Saiyan three. Pick up the phone. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. My no, bad. you good. I I love it. I love it. I love the anime rooms. But that is true. What you're saying isn't wrong. But they saw a need that Drew Holiday, his history, even when he was in Mark, we showed that he could do Mark Smart's job better than him. So they, they saw the need. They saw the deficiency where they where they missed, and they feel that deficiency. Still is true. You look that, back that in is, those games. That's not a true narrative, bro. Oh, my God. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh. You're making me laugh. I'm trying to laugh somewhere. But the bottom line is, if you look at those finals, Mark Smart was a liability with the ball in his hand sometimes. This, can you at least greet me on that? If you look, if you look back at those finals, be that's reckless. all I'm saying. He be reckless with the ball sometimes. So, so can Jalen Brown. Cool. Like, this isn't a Celtics podcast. I don't even remember. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying, like, the, the things that, that hurt you also help you. That's all I'm making. I'm just making a point. Ja's great, but he misses free throws in crucial times. and He can't shoot half the time. Jaron can't rebound, but he's very great at other things. Desmond Bain will break the pavement on the court, but <laughs> that's all I'm, it's, it's, a, it's a yin to the yang, bro. That's all I'm saying. Like, And I, am I using that as an excuse to play Scotty? Because Scotty can be reckless, too. To a less degree, but yes. To a less degree, but yes. To a less I just see Scotty playing his role like just to the T. He's not gonna do too much. Not gonna try to get out of side of it. He's gonna stay in his box. Give you about if he plays five to fifteen minutes a game and get him out of there. I don't think I think it's a good problem to have, and I would rather have him on the team than not on the team if you need him. And this it's simple as that. It's not a really complicated issue. I really don't think so. I don't think it's complicated. I'm I'm still in my base form, and you doing Super Saiyan three over here because Chris is very passionate about this. It seems like, you know, I'm I'm chilling. So that's 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 what it comes down to, bro. I just think it's a good problem to have. Have him give out five fifteen minutes a game. He's gonna do his thing, getting not and not ruffling any feathers with any of the guys on the team. And it's that on that, bro. Like it's not it's not that complicated. And I'm still not fully. As I'm still not fully sold him building a team. I'm just more on that side. Like I said, I'm about 77% of, of being for it. So I'm not fully convinced. It's just after two options, like, yeah, sign him. He's earned it. Like, I'm signing him. Chris so sick of me, bro. Chris, Chris so tired of me. No, I'm really just it. You are the fa- you, you, you. <laughs> This sound wild. I feel like you are the face of Grid Twitter. You're not, but right now I'm talking to <laughs> Grid Twitter when I talk to you. So it's like, oh my God, we just fall in love with these players that just ain't gonna play when it's time to play. And it's just I just said five to fifteen minutes game. He ain't Christian. getting that. He ain't getting that. You don't think you don't think he can give you you don't think he's gonna give you? I five just named you ten players. When has Taylor Jenkins played more than ten guys? Except except when the rush is depleted, probably not, yeah. He ain't getting no tick, bro. And if, if again, if I need to fit somebody in to play some backup point guard for five to 15, I'm shooting D Rose veteran ass in there because it's only going to probably be 25 games this year. So, knock on wood, I hope it's only 25 games. I hope we that's what D Rose that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. If everybody's healthy, then why are we having this conversation? But, you know, knock on wood. That's what I'm saying. Back yeah. up big. And if, if all hell fails, <laughs> if all hell fails, <laughs> if, you stretch and provision. <laughs> yeah, if it freeze over, <laughs> stretch and provision John Conchar's last two or three years of his contract, and then bring Scotty on if you just need him that bad for the playoffs. Otherwise, hey, we figure it out in the summer, bro. And I think at that point, like you said, because you cheated earlier, <laughs> yeah. the caveat of that is I do think next year, this summer, depending on what their roster looks like. Maybe Marcus Smart is moved. So now you do need a little bit more backup point guard. Like the, the way that the roster looks next year may determine if Scotty is actually on the – you know what? I'm going to take that out of there. I think 100% Scotty is on this roster next year with a full spot. I foresee that. I, I do. It's just right now, bro. Right now. 
We need this spot open. I've been saying this for the last three years, and they finally got it. Stop going into the season 15 deep and then, you know, usually two deep on the uh, on the two-way, but now you get three two-ways. It kills your flexibility to do anything in the season because now I got to release a guy to bring a guy in. Or, you know, I, got, I can only do a one-for-one -one trade. And that kills your options because a lot of times when a guy, a team is sending you back a player that you want, they're probably going to send you some slaw too. Like, look, I'm going to give you what you want, but here, take this little slaw dude too just so we can kill his contract. We can't never make that move because we 15 deep. Like, bro, keep that spot open. Let Scotty do what he do in them 50 games. See you next year on the team picture, my guy. You will have a roster spot next year. That's how I look at it. I don't, I don't know.